Today, I'm going to be unboxing the weirdest fidget toys that I could find on Amazon. Now, let me tell you guys right now, I was searching for hours, okay? Literally hours, because these don't just necessarily pop out at you. I had to do quite a bit of digging, and I decided to order 10 different fidget toys that I thought were just super strange. Some of these are scary, some of these are gross, some of these are just flat out weird, super out there. But all of these are very interesting and will definitely make you feel some type of way. I am so excited to open this package, but before we do that, I have a challenge for all of you watching. I wanna see if you guys can like, click subscribe, and turn on post notifications in just five seconds. I hope you guys are ready because here goes the countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. If you guys were successfully able to complete the five second challenge, then I want you to comment down below. Hmm. If you could invent a super weird fidget toy, what would it be? Like, what would it look like? What would the theme be? What would it smell like? Let me know all the details in the comments down below and I will be hearting some of your comments. But anyways, you guys, without further ado, let's get straight into this unboxing. Ah! Okay, I'm very excited, kind of nervous. All right, so I'm just going to cut into this box and I'm going to close my eyes and just pull out the fidgets one by one. And also guys, as I go through these, I want you to rate the weirdness level on a scale of one to 10 with each item that I show. All right, the box is open. All right, I'm gonna peek in. Oh, oh my gosh, okay. I was gonna try not to look, but my curiosity got the best of me. So now I'm just going to close my eyes and pull something out. We're gonna go with this. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we started off with a good one. So to be totally honest, I don't even know what these are supposed to be. But when I saw these, I had to add them to my cart because this is the definition of weird. Okay, so watch this. When you squeeze it. Ah! Oh my gosh, the lighting just changed, but let me try that again. Ready? I see you. don't know what this is supposed to be. I think maybe a slug, but like, look at him. I can't tell if he's creepy or cute or a little bit of both, but he's weird nonetheless. He's actually pretty satisfying though. It's starting to grow on me. I think he's a really good combination of cute and weird. But guys, if you had to rate this fidget on a scale of one to 10, one being not weird, 10 being super weird, what would you give him? I'm going to rate him like a, mm, a six out of 10. I'd say he's pretty weird. And also I'm not going to open his brother up because I really don't like having duplicates in my collection. I just like to have one of everything. So I'll be giving this away to one of you guys. If you are interested in winning this super odd fidget toy, then I want you to comment below a bunch of green heart emojis if you are interested in winning this. And I will choose a winner in the comment section, okay? Okay, all right guys, now I'm going to pick up weird fidget number two. Oh, okay, so as soon as it got to my hands, I'm like, wait, these feel really weird. Okay, that was loud. All right, so next up, it looks like we have two squishy skulls. Oh, these are definitely on the creepier side. So, oh my gosh. Ah! Ah! Oh my gosh, okay. Okay, that was a real genuine reaction. Guys, okay, I gotta calm down. I'm not just saying this. Um, okay, whenever I started fidgeting with this, I squeezed it and I was not expecting to see what I saw, okay? You guys ready for this? I'm just giving you a warning right now. It's not pretty. Let me stand up so you have a good view and try to focus this as best as I can. Watch what happens when you squeeze it. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Ah! <laughs> I'm not being dramatic. Mm. I'm not being dramatic right now. Well, maybe like a little bit because, you know, this is fake. But just the idea, like, okay, there's supposed to be maggots and blood inside of this skull. Like, that is really, really, really creepy. Um, I would say by far, this is the most disturbing fidget toy that I have. Like, I don't even know if this is weird. I think it's just disturbing. So I got a white skull that does that. And then I also got a gray one. I guess I'll open this one too. He probably has the same creepy insides. 
But let's find out, okay? We'll find out together. Give them a nice squeeze. Ew! Oh my gosh, this one's worse. I swear this one's worse. Oh my gosh. All right. <laughs> so, I hate these. Literally, I hate them. I don't know what else to say. These genuinely are freaking me out. And I don't even really want them in my collection. But, I mean, they definitely do send a shiver down my spine. So I will be keeping them just because they are different. Most fidget toys in my collection do not give me this reaction. So, okay. I am very much ready to move on. Hopefully you guys are too because we're done with these. Like, goodbye. I won't miss you. By the way, you guys, on a scale of one to 10 of weirdness, I would rate those skeleton heads a, oh, like a nine out of 10. They're weird and scary and yeah, they were a lot, a lot to handle. Moving on to the third thing in this package. Wow, we are going to be opening up these crazy stress balls right here. And these all have different faces, all right? Some are more pleasant than others. And I just thought that these had tons of personality and they were really interesting. So what we're going to do together is as I go through these, we're going to caption each one of their faces. Like for example, this one. Okay, this is the first one we have. He's not super weird, he's kinda cute. He's basically me whenever I think about ordering sushi. Like I love sushi, I'm obsessed with it. So yeah, this is me whenever I think about sushi. What do you guys think he's thinking about? Comment below and also let me know what your favorite food is while you're at it. But yeah, on a weirdness scale, I would rate him like a, a two. He's really not that weird. Next up, we have this guy and these are actually like more cute than weird. He looks like he just farted in class. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but yeah, see if you could come up with a better caption. He definitely looks very embarrassed and shook to his core. Like either he peed his pants or he farted in a classroom that was dead silent while they were taking a test. I would rate his weirdness a three out of 10. These stress balls aren't really striking me as like super weird per se. They're more so just like interesting and cute. This is a double, we just did him. So I will be giving away my doubles. This guy looks like he just got back from the dentist and he got a cleaning and he's like super proud of it. Or does he look like he's mean? I can't tell. Like, yes, he's smiling, but his eyebrows are like making me think he's like mean for some reason. Do you guys see what I'm saying? I don't know. This one's hard. Let me know what he's thinking. Next one. Let's see. What do we have? Oh, he's so cute. Wait, we didn't do him yet, right? No, we didn't. He's adorable. He's like... He is actually so cute. Oops. I don't feel like getting him, but he was really cute. He just looked like very curious and innocent and sweet and happy. I like him. He's my favorite so far. And again, you guys, as I go through these, make sure you let me know in the comments below what each one of these are feeling because I really want to see how creative you guys get. Oh, this guy definitely just stubbed his toe or got stung by a bee. Yeah. I was gonna sneeze and it went away. Don't you hate when that happens? Anyway, I feel really bad for him. He literally just looks like he's in a lot of pain and it's making me really sad. Oh. Then we have this guy and he's a little weird. Like I would say this is the oddest ball. Hey, get it? He's an oddball. <laughs> My mom used to call me an oddball. But yeah, he's just strange looking. I don't even know what to caption this. I feel like he talk like this. Yeah. Okay, this next one looks like he has a secret. He's kind of like, <laughs> he's kind of cute though, but he looks like he's being secretive. Yeah, he's not super weird either, but wow. These are actually really good quality stress balls. Like, whew, I feel like I'm releasing something when I squeeze this. Then you guys, we have this guy and he's kind of like winking with his tongue out. Let me try to do that. I really can't wink, so I'm gonna look absolutely obnoxious trying to do this face, but let me try. Okay, yeah, see, I told you that. Some people are just not meant to make certain faces and I'm just not meant to make this face. I really can't wink. Here's three things I can't do. I can't wink, I can't snap, and I can't whistle. Literally, I look like something's not quite right with me when I try to wink. And then, see, I can't snap and 
That's my best attempt at whistling. Comment below, you guys. Can you snap, whistle, and wink? Or are you like me? Or can you do some of them, but not all of them? I would love to know. But yeah, he's just a silly little dude. We still have a whole nother bag of these. A lot of these, though, are duplicates. But I'm determined to find the weirdest one in the bunch. And just wait, you guys. These ones, by far, are the most mild in terms of weirdness. There are some in there that, like... I wasn't even gonna buy because they were so weird. But okay, ooh, poor thing. This guy literally just like got his mouth taped shut. What? What did he do to deserve that? Oh gosh, that's weird. That's weird. That's suspicious. If you know, you know, it's a TikTok sound. He's like, ah! what do you guys think he did to deserve getting his mouth taped shut? We already did him. We already did him. Oh! Okay, this one is by far the weirdest slash scariest. Look at this. Holy crap, I do not want to get on his bad side. First of all, look at his eyebrows. They look like they are inchworms that are just going to like inch their way off of his face. Um, and he has no pupils. He's literally like possessed by a demon. I don't want to be his friend. I don't even want to associate myself with him anymore. He's going on the ground. What should his name be? I feel like his name would be like... Uh, David. Let's see, do we have any others? Aw, oh, okay, this one isn't weird. He's just happy, happy, happy. Boom, 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 boom. Happy, 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 happy. Again, a TikTok sound. I have nothing weird to say about him, but this is me whenever I get Amazon packages in the mail. Literally, Amazon is like my biggest obsession right now. I am addicted to it, so yes. Comment below, you guys. What makes you the happiest that you could be? I'd love to know. Okay, are the rest of these doubles? It looks like we only have one more that is different. The last one is this guy right here. He's a little scary. I don't like him. Like, sure, he's smiling, but I feel like he's secretly evil or something. Do you feel me? Like, his smile is a little spooky, so I don't know. I feel like he'd be a bully or something, but yeah, if you guys have a clever caption for his face let me know in the comments below but yes you guys so we went through all of those different emotion stress balls and i think for the most part they were like pretty cute and just silly so on a scale of one to ten of weirdness i would give them like a two they rank pretty low honestly however okay it's about to get really weird like i said some of the fidgets that I ordered are just going to make you flabbergasted. So we're gonna look at one of those right now. You guys aren't even ready for this next fidget. Okay. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even know why they made this, but just uh, let's have a second. What is this? Okay, so he's very stretchy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he went from scary to scarier. Let's see if we can make him like absolutely horrifying. Hang on. Oh my gosh. Wait, this is actually kind of funny. Oh, oh my gosh. Look at him now. <laughs> this is so terrifying. But not gonna lie, he's kind of fun to play with. Um, I, I've never been more confused though. Like what made someone create this? Like. I just, I've never been so confused in my life. He's just like a giant, green, scary, emotionless thing. Seriously, as soon as I saw him on Amazon, I was like, okay, add it to cart because it doesn't get much weirder than this. I think it was literally like $20. This was one of the more expensive fidgets from this haul. I will admit the sand that's inside of him is very satisfying to play with. But now I have an issue. I cannot get him to go back to his OG form, like his plumpy old self. So he's just gonna be like this for now. I think that this guy is like a literal mm, 10 out of 10 for weirdness. He's probably the weirdest one that I found, but that's just my opinion and everyone's opinion is gonna be a little different. So guys, what would you rate him on a scale of one to 10? Let me know in the comment section down below. But now we are going to reach into the box yet again. And this time we have a potato. Yep, that's right. A literal potato. Well, not a literal potato. It's a squishy potato, but a potato nonetheless. So here it is. 
Okay, it's not even really slow rising. It literally feels like a piece of foam. Um, but you know what? I'm happy to have this because I'm always doing these YouTube shorts where people give me emojis that they don't think I have in fidgets and a potato is always on there. So I can defeat. You're going to think there's no way she has that, but now I can be like, uh-huh, I do. Yeah. I mean, there's really nothing to say about this. It's actually pretty boring. Like potato is one of the most dull, lifeless, most boring vegetables ever. But you can't deny that on the inside they're delicious and you can make so many things with potatoes. Hash browns, french fries, mashed potatoes, tater tots. And I know there's way more. Comment below and let me know all the different foods that you can make with potatoes that I didn't say. So, all right, we're gonna move on because yeah, this is weird, but nothing like insanely strange. And that reminds me, you guys, I wanted to let you know that I also ordered a giant broccoli fidget, but I ordered it nearly two weeks ago and it still hasn't shown up. So I don't know if it got lost in the mail or what, but just take my word for it. I'll show you guys a picture of it, but it never arrived. So it's here in spirit. Can you guys see that okay? Hopefully it comes eventually. I was not gonna film this video today because I wanted to have the broccoli here, but the package hasn't moved in like a week, so I think it might be lost. All right guys, so we still have a few things left in this Amazon package, and the next thing is... I don't know, but it feels really weird. <laughs> okay, yeah, the texture of this is throwing me off. Oh, I think I know what this is. Oh gosh, oh boy. This is the one that I was dreading. Okay. <laughs> ah! All right, I'm gonna expose what it is to you guys. You ready? Oh boy, okay. <laughs> it's a turd, ow! It feels like so nasty, like, I don't know why I had the urge to smell it. Like clearly they're not gonna make it smell like poop for real. Um, but it's a long, mushy turd with eyes. Yeah, it really doesn't get much weirder than that. If I had to choose one word to describe this, I would just say like gross and disturbing probably. Weird also comes to mind. Ooh, wait, let's see how long it stretches. Oh my gosh. normal oh my gosh that's so weird ew it has like chunks in it look at it now i'm gonna see how small i can make it <laughs> that's so disgusting oh my gosh i don't really know what else to say about this guy i mean i wish you could feel him through the screen it's just bizarre like it's literally mushy feeling oh boy yeah guys i would rate him a nine out of ten for weirdness like for sure you know i've seen like quote unquote cute poop fidgets before that basically look like the smiling pile of poop emoji with like the smile and it doesn't look as real but this is about as real as it gets without it actually being like a real turd so okay we're done with him you're done you're done so guys we now have three items left in the box and i am going to grab this one Oh my gosh, this is scarier than I thought it was going to be. Look at this. He's actually something that would be in my nightmares. There's 14 different models to collect. I was debating on which one to get. There's like an alien, a ghost, a wrestler, a thief, a werewolf, a gummy bear. Um, I got the clown, a mummy. Like these are giving me Halloween vibes. But we're going to open him. He's a stretchy clown and ew i don't like him like i'm literally like mm. oh wait look how scary this is wait <laughs> that's so scary ew okay so yeah he's like very um jiggly but also somewhat stretchy I just don't like him. Like, 
I'm gonna be freaked out knowing he's just like existing in my lofts with the rest of my fidgets that are just so sunny and bright and colorful and innocent and cute and satisfying. And then there's this. Oh my gosh, wait, you can make him have like super scary faces. Like which face is the scariest? You guys ready? Okay, here's face number one. Ooh, oh, that's scarier than I thought it would be. That's face number one. Face number two, face number three, face number four, or face number five. I feel like the first one was the scariest, but let me know in the comments below what you guys think. And also we should name him. What should his name be? All right, I've had enough of Mr. Clownface. Now let's see what else we have left in the box. There's only two more things and it's actually really sad because honestly, this video has been so much fun to film. Guys, like this video and comment below green green grass if you're still watching up until this point and if you're having fun watching this all right you guys so the next thing that we have here um well to be honest i really don't know what they are they're like one-eyed monsters i don't know i had to order them when i saw them so let's open this pink guy okay i wasn't expecting them to feel this plasticky and i think you squeeze it oh wait it's oh he sticks out his little green tongue. Wait, you know what this reminds me of? Okay, so if you guys are SpongeBob fans like me, there is this episode, I think it's called Rock Bottom. And there are these creepy little monsters that live at Rock Bottom and they go. I'll insert a clip here. Oh yeah, yeah. Comment below if you guys remember that, but that is what this reminds me of. I also got one in the color green and the color blue. They are the trio. So here they all are in all their glory. I think they're definitely weird. Watch, ready? Oh my gosh, they smell good. They smell like a beach ball factory. That will never get old to me. I have to say my favorite one of these is probably, probably the pink guy, because I love the color pink. Let me know which one is your favorite. I'm gonna say for the weirdness factor, these are an eight and a half. All right, guys, and now the very last item in this haul is a, oh boy, it's like a blobfish. Look at this. Oh my gosh. It's like raw. It's like flesh colored. It looks like uncooked salmon. He feels like a mochi. It's like a super enlarged, really ugly mochi. He has some weight to him. He's definitely not very cute, but I feel bad because he literally is like sad in terms of weirdness. I would rate him like a Honestly, a nine out of 10. I mean, like, what is this? I can't see many kids wanting this. Also, this is kind of unrelated, but it was making me think about seafood. I am not a seafood person, but I know there's so many people that love seafood. So guys, let me know in the comments below. Do you love seafood? Do you hate it? Are you somewhere in the middle? What a great way to end this video. But anyways, you guys, that was all for this weird fidget unboxing. If you guys like this video and you'd like to see more like it, then make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And also let me know in the comments below which fidget you thought was the weirdest from this haul. If I had to say in my opinion, I would definitely say that this green globby dude is the weirdest. I mean, like, what is he? He's actually kind of haunting. Like, ugh. Whoa, he made a big thud. But yes, this was so much fun to do with you guys. So if you want me to do a part two, or like I said, another video similar, let me know what you want to see. And I will definitely do it because like I said, I'm kind of obsessed with Amazon right now. So I would be more than happy to go order more fidgets that have a certain theme. Uh, maybe next time I could even do like grossest fidgets or cutest fidgets or rare fidgets. I don't know, literally the sky is the limit. So let me know what you wanna see in the comments below. But I love you guys, tune them in and back. Thank you again for watching and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye, mwah.